Unit 3, Lesson 2. <clears throat> Reading 012. Unit 3, Lesson 2. The Garden on Robin Island. By the end of Unit 3, Lesson 2, you will be able to recognize the main idea in the reading text and locate important information in the text. Vocabulary. Sentence. In this context, it would mean the time a prisoner is in prison. Landfill is an outdoor area where trash is buried. Comrades is also known as friends. A miner is a person who works underground in a mine, digging for coal, salt, and silver. A quarry is an open pit where stone is dug. Read the academic text below. Then write T for true and F for false statements. 1. Nelson Mandela worked in a quarry during the day. 2. Mandela had many gardens before coming to Robben Island. 3. Mandela read books on gardening to learn more about it. 4. Mandela grew peanuts successfully. 5. Mandela found gardening very satisfying. Mandela's Garden by Nelson Mandela Almost from the beginning of my sentence on Robin Island, I asked the authorities for permission to start a garden in the courtyard. For years they refused without offering a reason, but eventually they agreed, and we were able to cut out a small garden on a narrow patch of earth against the far wall. The soil in the courtyard was dry and rocky. The courtyard had been constructed over a landfill, and in order to start my garden I had to excavate a great many rocks to allow the plants room to grow. At the time, some of my comrades joked with me. They said I was a miner at heart, for I spend my days at the quarry and my free time digging in the courtyard. While I have always enjoyed gardening, it was not until I was behind bars that I was able to tend my own garden. I began to order books on gardening and horticulture. I studied different gardening techniques and types of fertilizer. I did not have many of the materials that the books discussed, but I learned through trial and error. For a time, I attempted to grow peanuts and use different soils and fertilizers for them. But I finally gave up. It was one of my only failures. A garden was one of the few things in prison that one could control. To plant a seed, watch it grow, to tend it and then harvest it, offered a simple but enduring satisfaction. The sense of being the custodian of this small patch of earth offered a small, <clears throat> offered a small taste of freedom. In some ways, I saw the garden as a metaphor for certain aspects of my life. A leader must also tend his garden. He, too, plants and seeds, tends them, and harvests the results. Like the gardener, he must mind his work, try to repel the enemies, preserve what can be preserved, and eliminate what cannot succeed. Number 1. Nelson Mandela worked in a quarry during the day. True. Number 2. Mandela had many gardens before coming to Robben Island. False. Number 3. Mandela read books on gardening to learn more about it. True. Number 4. Mandela grew peanuts successfully. False. Number 5. Mandela found gardening very satisfying. True.